Hello all. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have started with the uh, modeling of this bathroom over here. So we'll be continuing it. We'll be just pushing this up more over here. Select this. Let's scale this up a bit. So we'll be modeling some more stuff over here. So first we'll be modeling this panel over here. That's for the wash basin. So let's go into this view over here. Let's go into this front view. Let's take a box over here. Let's take a box. So after taking a box, I'll just scale this a bit. And I'll just push this box till here. Inside till here. Scale it up. So convert to editable poly let's add some swift loops in it so we can just go into this select this edges and let's use a bit of extrude inside click ok you can just extrude a bit less if you want so now uh, again go over here add one more swift loop over here so select this polygons use a bit of inset that's it so you can just select this and okay So go over here, select this polygons, insert, scale it and use a bit of bevel. Click OK. Alright, so we'll just create one mirror over here. For creation of a mirror, let's take a again a box over here. So let's take a box over here. So we can just push this over here. This will be a part of a support over here. So what we'll be doing over here is like isolate this 
convert to editable poly So select this polygon and extrude it, right click and isolate. So definitely this is a mirror over here. So we can just undo this. Uh, what I'll do over here is like I'll add one loop over here and I'll add one loop over here. just extrude it and isolate that's it all right so we'll be creating save your file over here let's select this all and let's just give a color to it we'll be creating a tap over here for creation of a tap let's go into this take a box over here convert to editable poly insert it extrude it up So again select this, uh, extrude this a bit up over here, use a bit of swift loop extrude it Click OK. Again, use a bit of swift loop over here. Select this and just extrude this stuff. All right, just push this a bit further over here. Keep saving your files. We'll be just creating a switches now over here. For the switch, let's take a box over here. So just push it inside, convert to editable poly, insert it, connect.
So let's go into this. And can use extrude a bit. So what I can do over here is like I can extrude this all by polygon individually and you can just push this inside. Okay, so that your switches are done over here. So we can just go over here and push it a bit up over here, scale it, save your file. That's it. So we'll continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial. So thanks for watching this tutorial.